Hello everyone and welcome back. Happy Friday. Uh, this is a 1949 yearbook for you today. I need you guys' help. Okay, so this one, I, I know the name of the school, but I don't know where it's at. So if you guys find any clues along the way and you guys know maybe what the school is, like what state? I think there's three states that have this school, the same name of this school. So if you guys find any hints along the way, please let me know. But otherwise, we're just going to go through this 1949 yearbook and see what we can see. By the way, um, before we get started, please drop in the comments below where you're joining from. Give us a like. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. A really small one today so this is going to be a short video but i wanted to make sure i started your friday off right with a quick little video for you guys so right here it says winfield consolidated high school now i couldn't find anything on a consolidated high school so maybe it shut down uh i don't i don't really know um but consolidated meaning it has high school through elementary school so they actually have elementary school kids in here which is kind of cool to see. Um, so if anybody knows Winfield High School, Winfield Consolidated High School, where this might be, I know there's one in Texas. I think there's one in Kansas. Uh, I just don't know. So do you guys know? Can you help me out? All right, here we go. This is the staff. That's a funny picture, look at that. She's like whacking over the head. And here are some of the faculty. Boop. Superintendent, principal, and music. Oh, she did principal, she was in principal and she did music. That's awesome, agriculture. Athletics director, math, English. How is your guys' Friday going? Is it still Friday for you? I launching, I'm launching this kind of late, so it might not be Friday anymore, but we'll see. <laughs> Bonnie Mae Crawford. A woman's heart, like moon, is always changing, but there was always a man in it. <laughs> he thinks too much. Such men are dangerous. That's what Bob says over here. <laughs> Let me zoom out just a touch. There we go, that's perfect. What a lovely smile these two gals have. Oh, Doris, you're so beautiful, Doris. I love that beautiful black hair. A small tornado coming fast. <laughs> I felt that. I'm five foot. <laughs> There's something about us short people. We got a lot of spirit. You know, I guess we have to. Because we're short. <laughs> I love the bangs on Patricia. I miss my bangs. I don't want to go cutting them though. I had bangs for the longest time, forever. I've had bangs since the 90s. This is the first time I haven't had bangs and it took me so long to grow them out. And if I just cut them again, what, what was it all for? Tell me not to get bangs, you guys. <laughs> but it's not an experiment for me. Okay, class prophecy. It's not like a, oh, like, I don't know, I'm going through something. Let me get some bangs. Um, no, I mean, I know what they look like. I had I had them forever. I love them. I actually like them short, like mid forehead. But, um, what are the juniors? Here we go. But I don't want to cut them again. They're a pain to deal with. I mean, especially in summertime, at least wait till winter, right? I mean, they get so greasy. <laughs> you got a lot of, have to have a lot of dry shampoo. All right, here we go with the freshmen. 
Love the skirt. I'm actually wearing something similar today. Whoop. A big long skirt. And I just like threw my skirt on here. Isn't that cute? It's got robots on it. I'm going off on a tangent. Sorry about that, but it's okay. It's, it looks just like this. It's except for it's not pleated. Eighth grade, this is eighth grade. Oh, seventh, sixth, fifth, and fourth grade. There's only one class of each. That's crazy. Oh, they all look so cute. There's their names. Did I show you their names up here? Here we go. In case you needed to see them, you're looking for someone in particular. So yes, you guys, I really need help finding out what the school is. I know one of you guys can find out. I have a lot of followers who are like really great at this detective work, like finding people, doing the genealogy. Third, second, first, and kindergarten. Here we go. Gosh, at least wait for the teacher to be ready. <laughs> you only get one shot. She's all scratching her neck. Oh, they look like the little rascals. Oh, they're so cute. No. All right, so this is the activities calendar all the way through. It's like almost every single day. Uh, well, not every single day. They had an activity, but those are some short basketball shorts. I'll tell you what. We couldn't do it without them. Okay, this is one thing I love about really old yearbooks is they always have uh, photos of like the custodians, the cooks, the bus drivers, the office girl, that's awesome. They're important too. Oh, here we go with football. These are the football boys. Pictures are pretty big, so I don't think we need to squeeze in on those. Maybe I'll just bring it up a little bit closer. All right, here we go with football. And basketball squad. Cheerleaders, ooh. I like those, those, um, they don't look like windbreakers. They look like a silky material, but, and football. See, these are action photos. It's not really much of an action photo, but. All right, concert band, marching band, band, brass quarter, saxophone quartet, excuse me, brass quartet, saxophone quartet, baton twirlers, and clarinet quartet. So let's have a look. There's their names. This marching band outfit is fire. I would wear that. I would wear that now. Oh, by the way, this really freaked me out when I saw this. K Snell. Okay. My name is Kayla and my middle name is Chanel. Spelt with an S. My grandma used to call me Kayla Snail Shell. So when I read K Snell, 
I was like, uh, uh that's so close to my name. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It just, <laughs> I was just like, who, who is this person? That is very similar to my nickname. It was just so unique, you know, I just was like, whoa. And I think there's snails, is it Snell? Snell, the last name? I don't think I've ever seen that last name. Girls Glee Club. By the way, fun fact, I was really interested about the Glee Clubs because I didn't know Glee Clubs dated back so far. This is the mixed choir. Girls Sextet. Mixed Quartet. Girls Trio and Boys Quartet. Wouldn't that be so cool to have quartets? Um, any hoosies. Like I was saying before, I looked up Glee Clubs because I was interested in the history. Like, when did they start? Because I have, I have my yearbook from the 1800s that you guys have seen on my TikTok if you follow me on TikTok. And they have a Glee Club. And nearly every old yearbook has a Glee Club. And I was just like, when did Glee Club start? So apparently they started in England in the 1700s. That's how far back they date. Is that not crazy? Because all I can think about is them singing pop songs in 1700s. <laughs> you know? Obviously that's not the case. However, that's what's going on in my brain. Future Farmers of America and Student Council. My sister was part of FFA and we raised a pig, well, we, I say I say we loosely. I didn't live there, I lived with my mom. She lived with my dad. And um, we named the pig Amon, which means ham in Spanish. Very classy, I know. Um, but the pig got sick and needed some antibiotics just before they, by the way, they you raise a pig to sell it at market. Like the whole point is to like, learn how to sell pigs at, at the fair or whatever. And uh, the pig got sick and needed some antibiotics, so they weren't able to sell it at the fair. Um, and my dad, <laughs> by the way, I'm vegan at the time, so there's no way I'm eating this pig, right? Especially it's like, it's my pet. <laughs> uh, and they're just like dogs. I, I kid you not. If you've ever like, encountered a pig even the biggins they're like doggies they're like and yeah so anyways long story short my dad decided they were gonna eat the pig so he had the pig butchered no did he yes um but not completely they like roasted it in the ground they tried to anyways not knowing what they're doing they completely just the pig was awful, apparently. I don't know, like I said. Not only did I not live there, but I would not have eaten it. And so an entire pig slash pet, unedible. Yeah, that's not a great story. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's what I think of when I think of FFA. Oh, look at their little baby photos. Yeah, so not a great story. Sorry about that one, you guys. We are almost done with this yearbook. This was so fast, wasn't it? I mostly just wanted to chat with you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that little stroller. I'll, show, I'll go down. So cute. So cute. Look at that little stroller. Oh, I saw one of those at the swap meet recently. But it was like even in, it was even better one than that. Like it was like a fancy one. 
And um, although it is really impractical, I considered buying it and it was a stupid price, like ridiculous, like a hundred bucks or something. There's not crazy for what it is, but like crazy for like something that you're buying that you don't need. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Long story short, I did not buy it. But I do love those little baby carriages. I think they're pretty neat. sideways. These are cool candids, huh? An old stop sign. Almost done. There's the autographs. And, oh, for oh, these are the um, people who sponsored it. Oh, maybe we can figure out that way. Hang on. Well, anyways, those are the names of the sponsors. So maybe that's one way. And there's a moth, a dead moth. And some other kind of dead bug. Cool. <laughs> anyways, you guys, this was the 1949 mirror from Winfield, right? Is that correct? Yes, Winfield consolidated high school so if you guys figure out what that is please let me know in the comments below also you guys have been amazing as always thank you so much and i will see you again soon bye have a good weekend